Good morning. This is uh, Thursday, March 9th, and it's uh, good to have my wife back home with me. She made it home safely. So that's a praise. And I'd like to begin also by wishing uh, Walker Waitley a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Walker. I hope you have a good time today. And uh, Judy Richardson, it's her birthday as well. So happy birthday, guys. Hope you have a great day. Uh, today's devotion is turning back or walking with Jesus. This is John 6. Do you also want to go away? What a penetrating question. Our Lord's words often hit home for us when he speaks in the simplest ways. In spite of the fact that we know who Jesus is, he still asks us, do you also want to go away? We must continually maintain an adventurous attitude towards Jesus despite any, per, any potential risk to ourselves. What that means is, will you go where he calls you to go? In following Jesus, he will take us into some scary places sometimes. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with Jesus no more. That's John 6 again. They turned back from walking with Jesus, not into sin, but away from him. And I always say this, there's many believers in Jesus, but do we follow Jesus? Many people today are pouring their lives out and working for Jesus Christ, but are not really walking with him. They're working for him, but not walking with him. One thing God constantly requires of us is a oneness with Jesus Christ. After being set apart through sanctification, we should discipline our lives spiritually to maintain this intimate oneness with him. When God gives us a clear determination of his will for our lives, all of our striving to maintain that relationship by some other particular method is completely unnecessary. Once you have the oneness, you walk naturally. All that is required is to live a natural life of absolute dependence on Jesus Christ. And I've said this many times over the last few years. You've got to picture yourself as a child. A child lives in oneness with their parent. They walk naturally in relationship with their parent. That three and four-year-old, they don't fathom and contemplate and design and create out of self. They just get up every morning knowing that mom and dad are there. That's what he's saying. We need to walk in a natural oneness with Jesus. Think of that little toddler that gets out of bed every day. They walk naturally with their mom and dad. That's what he's asking of us. Never try to live our lives with God in any other way than his way. And his way means absolute devotion to him and his call, showing no concern for the uncertainties that may lie ahead. That is the secret of walking with Jesus. <clears throat> Peter saw in Jesus only someone who could minister salvation to him and to the world. But our Lord also wants us to be fellow laborers beside him. In other words, work to redeem others, bring them to him. In John 6, Jesus lovingly reminded Peter that he was chosen to go with him. And each of us must answer this question for ourselves and no one else when Jesus asks us, do you also want to go away? The challenge I have for us today is how's our oneness first with Jesus? How is your oneness with Jesus? Are you like that little child, that little three and four or five year old that gets up every morning knowing that there'll be something for breakfast on the table, knowing that mom and dad has laid out their clothes or, or done whatever had to, had to be done for them? Are we that intimate with Jesus? How's your oneness with Jesus? And secondly, will we go if he asks us to go? Or will he have to say, do you also now want to go away? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the, uh, the oneness that we can have with you. And that's our prayer today, Lord, that we could find the oneness as that child does with their parents. They get up every day. They don't have to fathom and plan and, and write down. They just wake up knowing that mom and dad will be there. So, Lord, let us be that little child in oneness with you today. And, Lord, let us go wherever you send us. Regardless of how scary it might be, let us go wherever you send us. We love you, Lord, and we give you this day in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.